What's up guys, Adam Raples Vox here, and we've got another microphone in for review. This one is from the company Tonor. I previously, or Toner, I previously reviewed a USB microphone of theirs, and I wasn't a huge fan, but given how dirt cheap it was, it definitely wasn't the worst microphone in the world. They sent us out another one. It's still just called Professional Condenser Microphone. I wish they'd at least come up with some goofy uh, model numbers. Now, I did want to address that a lot of these are remanufactured from non-exclusive patents. As someone pointed out, what the previous one was essentially like the BM-800 or something like that. There's a lot of these similar mics, but it's still important to see the individual factors because some may not have as good build quality or uh, quality assurance and quality control as others. So this one is from Toner. The box looks like this. It's going to be a little black mic, and it looks like it actually has an XLR port. So I'm going to do a basic Assuming that's the case, I'm going to do a basic recording test here with just the 3.5 millimeter hooked up to my laptop, but then I may do a secondary one and throw it in of the XLR hooked up to my full XLR audio rack as well. So opening up the box here, we are presented with a microphone user guide, which actually has Windows 8 installation instructions and Windows 7 and stuff. I'm impressed. Doesn't have some fake generic Windows XP stuff as many third-party products do tells you to plug it in and automatically install the driver it looks like hopefully here and we have the microphone itself it looks like at first it looks like at first that it had some sort of shock mount around it with this like ribbed or like i don't know this geometrical shape of sorts but it does not that's just a random plastic piece around the microphone. I'm not sure why it's there. It's not actually a shock mount. It does add some weight to the microphone. And we have an attachment system here for a stand of sorts and it does have an XLR port on the back. So I will do a secondary audio test with it hooked up to a proper XLR setup. And then we do get a microphone stand and this one's quite a bit more impressive than the one that came with their previous microphone that I reviewed. So as I'm throwing it here, kudos to them for that. Although Almost sounded like I broke it there. Just screw the microphone on. And then I believe, yeah, you get some height adjustment here as well. And then on the microphone itself, we have an on off switch that also acts as like an input monitoring. I don't have a cable for it. Ah, it was under this square. That was misleading. All right, and then included in the box is an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable. Now these aren't always the highest quality, so I'm not sure how much I'd trust it to convey the sense of the microphone, which is why I'm gonna do my own XLR testing. But simply hook up the XLR and align the pins, and then we will hook it up to my laptop here and do a couple review tests, or a couple microphone tests. This is a microphone test using the Toner XLR to 3.5 millimeter microphone, condenser microphone, hooked up to my laptop. This is a test, 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 one, two, three, test, test, one, two, three. Something to keep in mind is that you do have the gain switch on the microphone itself, as well as the gain and levels that are implied with or applied within your computer. Now this is fine over 3.5 millimeter, however, over XLR, that's not gonna make a whole lot of sense. So that test may look a little bit different. And I'm having trouble getting an audio balance as some things I say are completely like clipped and peaked out and some things that I say are very, very quiet. But this is a test. Since it is a condenser microphone, you will probably want a pop filter as RIP headphone users, you've been warned. That just like destroys the mic capsule. But And then if I set it a bit further from my desk, and turn the volume up a little bit and then change the input levels up a little higher. Test, test. Test, test. Test, test, test. This is what it sounds like sitting on the table in front of me a little bit further away, but then normalized up. This is a microphone test. This is a test recording using the Toner Condenser Microphone hooked up to an XLR setup with phantom power on and with, you know, running through my mixer setup. I'm hitting the stand, so you are going to hear some handling noise. I'm holding it up here so I can actually record with it because the stand is tiny, the mic is tiny, etc. Uh, this is a test. This is a test. This is what it sounds like. It probably sounds a little bit better. It does actually require phantom power over the XLR, even though it can connect via XLR to 3.5 millimeter. Very, very interesting.
By the way, we do actually get a model number here. It is the condenser microphone Y10. But for whatever reason, that's only labeled on the stand. But this is my microphone test and review of the Toner condenser microphone. It picks up a lot of handling noise and you will need a pop filter. And so for the price, you're probably paying as much as you paid for the microphone for a pop filter. The decision is yours, although if you're keeping it further away from you, it may be alright, but like, even hitting on the desk as if you were typing, it would shake it around quite a bit. Again, you do have this fake shock mount here, it doesn't actually shock mount it, and the angle you can angle the microphone is not actually all that great. That's as high of an angle as you can get it, which isn't like as high up as some might want, especially given how short the stand is, and you can't like adjust the tripod stand to make it any taller because it only goes like that, so. Somewhat cheaply made, but also very cheap to buy. So it's up to you whether or not you want to get it. Product link will be in the description below as always. My name has been Adam Reapels Vox. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the review. Don't forget to subscribe. Full disclosure, in case I didn't mention it before, this was sent out for free to review, as are 95% of the other review products I review on this channel. Just gonna start integrating the disclosures when I remember. And otherwise, I will catch you in a future video. My name's been Adam Reapels Vox. Thank you for watching. Yet another video where the beard disappears. Hashtag where's the beard. If you'd want to win this microphone for yourself, if you want to start getting ready or get started with content creation and you need a microphone to do so, leave me again with, with all my giveaways where I'm shipping the product myself, which I'll be shipping this exact one. You must be living in the United States, the continental United States, as I can't afford it otherwise. But I will ship this out to one lucky winner if you comment in the comment section down below with one type of content that you'd be able to make with this microphone that you've always been able to that you've you've always wanted to make but not been able to until you get a microphone. Be that podcasting, YouTube videos, sketches, live streaming, etc, etc. Leave that in the comment section down below. I'll do a random drawing using the TubeBuddy giveaway tool and send you a YouTube direct message and if you have a Twitter associated with your channel, I'll send you a tweet and things like that so you can send me over your shipment information. But leave me a comment down below and you could enter to win this microphone for yourself. I need to go find my beard.